Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we are not in our studio this week. We are here with Chris Horn at his home, away from home. Yeah. So we're at the Amscan showroom. Chris, hello. Hi. Nice to see you again. It's yes, thank been, you. It's been a, a little while, not too long, a few yeah. months, a couple of months. A couple of months, I think. Just realised it was April earlier on, didn't we? Yes. Uh, and it was, uh, oh, I thought it was still March. Don't know where the year's going. Before you know it, it'll be Christmas. I've just looked at some Christmas products around the corner, yeah, by the yeah. way. So <laughs> take us some pictures, things we should be getting in. Anyway, why are we here with Chris today? Well, uh, last year, last time we were here, we sat at this table and we were talking about training. We'd never done it with you before and you did the first training course at Balloon Market mm. and it was... It was a success, so much so we did another training course, the organics training course, obviously, and that was a success. And so we've got a couple more dates. So that's what we're talking about, isn't yeah. it? So the organic training with Chris, I think it's fair to say the feedback we got was pretty amazing. It's very People nice. did like you, you do have a fan base, it's fair to say. <laughs> and um, it was a real success. So for those people that might not have been on the organics course, and or if you want to come again, you f feel free to come again. But if you've not been on it, and you're interested in learning the whole organic thing, what, what will people be learning? What would the benefit be of coming on the course? I think the main benefit that I'd try to get across is, is, uh, is de demystified a bit. Mm. Um, reading comments on social media and, and, and all the rest of it, I get the feeling that if you've not done organic before, it could be a bit scary, the thought yeah. of how to do it. Um, so <clears throat> the, the way that I tend to put it together is, is to have, a, it's, it's kind of a fusion between classic decor and full organic in that there's still a bit of structure to it. There's a, there's a method to follow so that it's not, you're not just flying blind all the time and inflating yeah. every balloon one at a time individually. Um, you, we start off with a, with a structure, with a method, with a, with a recipe, mm. um, and then organify it. Um, to get Organify. the right, I know. I'm, I'm waiting nice. for the call from the Oxford English Dictionary oh, on that like one. I like it. Um, but you end up with the right effect without having to, uh, say, you know, fly blind and, and, and work it out as you go along. Yeah. And it seems to work very well. Everybody that I've spoken to and, and done on, the, on various courses appreciate that. Um, particularly if you're as old as, as I am, because I've spent, you know, so many years learning that everything had to be exactly the right size and yeah. it's all got to be... And then to take that leap to mm. make it all different sizes is, is actually quite tricky. Yeah. So this is a, a combination of the two with the right result at the end. So it's effectively, organic is not just sticking random stuff. No, on. no, no, that's a mess. That is a mess. Um, <laughs> it's, so it is a formulated randomness, is that? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it is. I, yeah. What, what I loved about it, the courses we've done already is that when people are making the, the demi-arch, that you've, you've taught them the same things, you've said the same thing to everybody, you've given the same product, it's right there, they yeah. can choose what product they want, and then they go away and they make four completely separate, completely unique, yeah. different demi-arches. Yeah, and um, that proves the point for yeah. me, because if they all came out exactly the same, then it's not properly organic. Yeah. But the fact that they are all different and yet all beautiful, um, is, yeah, we, we've, we've got it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, no, it's perfect. <laughs> and of course they learn about the, the hoop thing. Yep, yeah, don't which, know what the term is, hoop thing will do. Hoop thing, organic hoop thing. Very popular design, you know, a, a retail product or decor, but you know, it, it's an affordable thing. Yeah. Um, so it is very popular. And, and so if we can find a, a nice quick way of producing those, um, which we do, yeah. um, then that's a good thing. And then we look at topiary balls, yeah. Um, or, and, and topiary trees, organic versions of those uh, with florals and ribbons mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. And then, then finish off with this mahoosive garland across the whole Oh, of course, thing. yes. So, that garland was spectacular. The yeah. first one that we left there at the, it's at the Balloon Markets Training, the, the football club, Tottenham Football Club. And we left the garland there last time and for, for Wayne, the manager there. And uh, he left it up there for, I think it was more than two weeks. So the parties Fantastic. and weddings he had there, they had this huge 40, 50 foot garland just for free. Yeah. So he loved it. He loved being able to say, yeah, I'll leave that there for you. And uh, everybody really enjoyed it. But it, yeah, not a single balloon had burst, by the way. That's good that, news, isn't it? In that two, three weeks, whatever it was. I particularly like that though, because if, if we started with that, it would be terrifying because yeah. it's such a big thing and it's full of, 
all sorts of extra stuff. We, you know, there's clear balloons with confetti and feathers in, there's double bubbles, there's all sorts of things in there. Yeah. Um, and it would take forever. But by the end of the day, we've, we've sort of built up to that and, and the whole group gets together and, and, and half an hour and it's done. I love, and to, I love that. Yeah, I love to see the confidence building from, from when people walk in and you talk to them and find out a little bit about them and what they want to get out of the course. And by the end, you can see the confidence has increased massively and they're gonna go out there and they're gonna do some crazy organics. So it's brilliant. Having seen it a couple of times now, I'm genuinely really impressed. Your, your, your style of training is... A bit e mad. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's energetic, it's, yeah. it's energetic. And I just love the way you, you'd set people off. So it's like winding them up, okay, off you go, go do it. And everyone's doing their own thing. And then you're just literally running from station to station. Oh, you can do it this way, do this, do that. And really supporting everybody. So I, I thought that was, talk about a hands-on training course. I thought it was, it was very, very good. And everybody appreciated it. So the dates of these courses, we've got one in May. It's Thursday, the 9th of May. I've written it down this time. The last time we did this here, um, I got the day wrong. Anyway, Thursday, the 9th of May. And we've got another one, Wednesday, the 3rd of July. Yep. So, yes, if you're interested in that, it is at our training venue uh, around the corner from Balloon Market in Southampton. And there'll be the usual benefits, the discount, and they'll be able to place their order and be able to take it away with them on the day. Don't forget uh, the sausage rolls. Wayne's food, the sausage rolls. Wayne is a, an amazing chef, and he does these amazing homemade sausage rolls made on the premises. And they, they are very, very nice. But there, are, there is other food as well. <laughs> so, and... Um, yeah, there's free parking, lots of parking as well, which is, is quite yeah. nice. Um, we have had some regulars that have been on that course, been on other courses, and they're, they're, there's more people wanting to come down to see more of you. So that's great news. That's, that's great. But that's not the only course we're talking about today, nope. is it? No, we have no, another no. one. We do. Because you've got a new... I, I like these chairs because I can, I can sort of turn to you. I can't help. <laughs> anyway, we've, we've got another course that is going to be all about... All about the clears. These, we talked about it on BMTV a while ago and asked the question, would people want a training course? And the answer was yes. Yeah. So what, tell us a bit more about clears and the training. Well, I'm really excited about these because I've been in the industry for a very, very long time. And generally speaking, any innovations and things that come along are kind of a variation of something that's been there before. Yeah. But So you've got latest balloons, you've got foil balloons. Clears is something completely different, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's wonderful to have something completely new that behaves in a totally different way to play with. And I've had a whale of a time since I managed to get my hands on the first samples back in October. Yeah, um, and there's so much you can do with them. And you know, I've been putting a few bits out there on on social media and on the Amscam website and this, and that, and the other. And the reactions have been huge. Yeah, people yeah. very very excited about them. So I thought it might be a good idea if we did some proper training days where I can show you just what these are capable of, yeah. how to do all the various techniques. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with them. Well, I've seen a few questions out there that you on Facebook and the various forums, and you're generally answering them, but it, it's talking not just about the basics of, well, liftability and, um, that's the other thing. Float With time. Float time, that's the other thing. And, and all those sort of questions and the size they should be because these They're aren't just one stretchy. size. Very yeah. stretchy. Um, but this course will be showing the basics and uh, educating people in the basics, but also going a lot further. A lot further. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we'll start at the beginning with, with as you say, the basics, because they're valved product. They're so, you know, you just inflate them and off you go. Um, if you want, if all you want to do is inflate it and tie it on a ribbon, great. But um, you can add so much, because the liftability is so great, mm. um, you can add an awful lot underneath them of florals yeah. and clusters and ribbons and loads of stuff. Um, but then you can also take the valve out so you can put confetti and feathers inside or anything else that you fancy. Um, you, can, you can cut and reseal the balloon so you can put large items inside like teddy bears or flower arrangements or, or whatever takes you fancy. You can high float them to make them last longer and stick the confetti and stuff inside. There's just lots. And you'll be showing people the I've, the, all I'll those show techniques. all of that. The thing I like most about them is that, that dual use. So you can, you've got the valve, inflate them, off you go. 
or you can cut the valve out. And I, I just thought that was genius because yeah. that, that, was, that was all you, wasn't it? You wanted the neck I wanted longer. the neck long enough so that when the valve was removed, it was still, yeah. you could still tie it or yeah. seal it. And yeah, so it was I, a simple I, innovation, but it's made a difference. I think it's great that somebody that uses balloons every day of his working life was yeah. able to influence the manufacturer. I mean, that's what you do. You, you I do try but sometimes. This, but this was a really positive result, yeah. wasn't it? So I think that's... Yeah, it's opened up a whole world of possibilities. Yeah. It's not just a balloon. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I heard about this one person, actually, that must be a bit crazy. They, they, they put a cactus inside one of these. Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody that would be... Daft enough oh, well, to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you've you, you got to try these things, haven't you? You have. Chris did that. Um, and I'm not, I'm only joking about the daft. But, <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, it was a, it was a, it, it's quite unusual to put something spiky inside a balloon. But it's something you say you would probably not do. I'm not going to try it again. I just needed to, it was just one of those moments, you know. Um, and I, we got a foil balloon that's a cactus. And I just, I don't know, looked at it, I thought, I wonder. Yeah. Um, so it took me a little while. I'm not doing it again. It's not commercial, but it was a great deal of fun to have it done. Yeah. But what you will be teaching is things that are commercial. Yes. That are just as much fun. Absolutely. So the dates, let's get these dates out there. So the clears course, we've got two, two courses. Um, Wednesday, the 8th of May and Tuesday, the 2nd of July. So you might notice that they are both the dates before the organic dates. They are. So if somebody wanted a double dose of Chris Horn, they could come down to Southampton and stay in one of the hotels in the lovely New Forest or on the edge of the New Forest. And you could have a, a Wednesday and Thursday in May or a Tuesday and Wednesday where you've got the double dose of Chris Horn training. Yeah. So the organics course, let's talk about who these courses are for. You probably will have some experience. Yes, I, I, yeah, the organic, you need to have I've done a, a beginner's course of some kind so that you're familiar with the basic techniques. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it will be a bit overwhelming. Okay. Um, you don't have to have been in, in the industry for like 15 years or anything. Just as long as you, you have your basic techniques and you're comfortable with those, it'll be fine. Okay. This one, however, um, no, you don't need anything like that. So anybody, even anybody, just starting out, they yeah. could come to this course, they could yeah. learn about these, and they, they could effectively go away with new products to sell, I don't just mean the balloons, but the balloons with something inside, yeah, some yeah. really new ideas. A whole that bunch of ideas. Yes, putting out definitely. there straight away. Well, Chris, I want to see some. Okay. Have we got any? There's a few okay. lying about. I, I just can't help twisting. It's like I'm exercising. Anyway, <laughs> let's go and see some. They're not right here, so we're going to have to do the clicky finger thing to go okay. somewhere else. Okay, you don't like the clicky finger? You don't like the clicky finger it, thing? It makes me feel ill. You're okay, like, whoosh, you okay. Know? all right. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Ooh. There we are. Wow, that was... I feel like Harry Potter going through one of those funny... The, the time. Flu powder. Flu powder. Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> so, yes, flu powder available. From balloon market by Amscan. <laughs> wow, well, well, that, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? it? Would, wouldn't it? Safe safe drive to... down to Southampton to be so much easier. Yeah, I know. And then drive up here. It's <laughs> miserable today. Anyway, here we are, Chris. We've got we've got some of the clears yep. here. So they've got that that group there. That are they're just the plain one. The the, the nothing done to them once. No, just attached just on the, the ribbon. ribbon. Attached on a ribbon, which yeah. is is great. Now there's one behind you that looks very funky. This one, yes. How long has that been inflated for? Um. This one, uh, where are we? This is, this is coming up for four weeks. Four weeks, really? Yeah. Um, and this is high floated. Yeah. Um, with little polystyrene beads inside. Looks yeah. like hundreds and thousands. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, and yeah, so we'll, be, we'll definitely be demonstrating how to get the high float in yeah. there so that it remains clear. Yeah. Um, and you get the even spread and everything else. There's, there's a, a couple of definite techniques in there. Which, once yeah. you've got them, are easy. But yeah. That's great. For, I like your ribbon as well. You've done that. That's very nice. It's only curling ribbon, but it looks, it looks great, nice. doesn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, nice and simple. And then over here we have that. Oh, this is, this that is looks... my old friend. Yeah, this is the one. These are the original ones I first got back in um, October for the Blooming Marvelous. The week after that, yeah, uh, first week in November, wow. I built this one for an event that we were having here, and it's still here. So and that's still going? Yeah, not touch that at all. That's exactly okay. as it was. And I just reinflate the one at the top every Monday. 
Okay. Just to keep it going. It still looks, wow. it's still flying every Friday. It's not shrunk. So you'll be showing how small. to do all that sort of stuff and yeah. adding flowers. Yeah, and... so you can see, yeah, there's nothing inside it, but yeah. just dressing it up outside and then we can cut and reseal to get the big stuff inside yeah. there. Yeah, and then we've got, we've got this very... Yes, Very the fancy traditional one. feathers inside, but we're flying it on a feather boa. Yeah, and right. So there's all sorts of different examples. I, I love them. I think they're great. They're I, very I, versatile. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited uh, about, about this course and showing people what they can do and then being able to go away and sell something completely yeah. different. So and the key is it is not going to be just a demonstration. No. They will do all of this. And then so on the course, you will do all of these different things and more. And they'll be so able to take some home. Take them, them all home, I don't want them, I've got plenty. So, <laughs> yeah. I do love that at the end of the course, yeah. when people take things out. And, Make sure and you come in a big vehicle. The bigger the vehicle you have, the better. Yes. We have some people going home on trains with, with balloons, so that's, that's always interesting, which you're allowed to do, by the way. So anyway, Chris, as a guest, you know the score. You have to ask the question of the week. Yeah. Well, I think it's got to relate to these in okay. some way, shape or form. Um, and as they are quite new, um, I, I was just, I, I don't know, what, what are you looking forward to doing with them? You know, what, what's to, what can you see as the, the possibilities for these? What That's ideas what have would, you got already? Yeah, what ideas have you got already? Because I've got loads of ideas, but it's always nice to get some from somebody else. Absolutely. So could, Absolutely. A bit of input there would be very handy. What ideas have you got for these? For the new Clears balloons. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Might see you at some of those training courses. If not, hope so. Or even if we do, see you next week. Bye. Bye.